albino community. So I am here to do my first contest risk response of 2018. And uh, the contest is for Diana Diggin and the Crate, as you can tell from the title. And I liked her contest response because it was basically give us three records uh, that you had been playing the most in 2017. And it didn't have to be from the year. So I've been purchasing a lot of uh, records from 2017, but I'm still in the process of discovering records from previous years. So that's what I liked about this contest. I mean, uh, I could do a 2017 response, but uh, it would be quite the effort. And it's not to say that I wouldn't do one in the future, but uh, I just don't have a whole lot of time. So this contest kind of uh, helps me out a little bit and gets right to the point. But if you don't know Diana digging their crates, here's just a sampling of what she's into. Now what I like about Diana is that she includes sound samples uh, in her videos so you get a good representation of what the albums are like that she features. Uh, not to mention she's always featuring one of her wonderful coffee paintings which I enjoy very much. But for this contest I'm going to quasi cheat. I'm doing 3.5. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing kind of a half or a quarter of an entry is uh, over the course of a given year I purchased a lot of 12 inch singles um, I don't know what it is perhaps it's my previous life as a DJ but uh, I, I pick up a number of 12 inch singles throughout the course of a year and the one that I've been playing the most um, is by this Swedish group called October Club and uh, they this is basically their first A and B side wonderful track it's yes it is kind of dancey but it also has this wonderful organ piece it makes references to the doors so here's just kind of a sampling of the a and b side of uh october club <music> So, you know, the again, the reason why I like this video so much was don't focus only on 2017. And one of the artists that I discovered in 2017 was Circuit de You uh, by Haley Four. And she's very interesting because her voice is very deep. It's a baritone. You know, if I had to compare it to a wine, it's like a fine Cabernet. Um, this may not be for everyone. Uh, people would label it as alternative, but what is alternative? Um, it's electronic at times, there's strings, um, she plays wonderful guitar, uh, she has uh, some musicians associated with her, but she wrote all the tracks, played quite a bit of the instrumentation on this. Um, it's poppy at times, it starts out very electronic and then it moves to a a pop sensibility but uh, her, her baritone voice may not be for everyone but I enjoyed this this is actually a 2015 release she did come out with a release this year and that's kind of how I discovered her but I preferred her 25, uh, 2015 release a little bit more uh, she also put uh, great efforts into the packaging uh, you know she used a stouten jacket um, she used RTI for the plating but the actual stampers were done uh, at another plant so you can tell by the two in the par parenthetical, so it was plated at RTI, 
done by Salt Mastering and it sounds wonderful. There's a wonderful stereo effect here and she does a wonderful job or the, the, the mastering or the mixing engineer did a wonderful, a wonderful job with the stereo effect. I mean if you're listening with a good pair of headphones it's like you have this drone buzz just going between you. Yeah, like in the middle of your brain. <laughs> it's just incredible. But here's a couple of tracks uh, from this album for you. Makes me tremble. It makes me shake. things up a little bit again I purchased all kinds of music uh, one of the the jazz albums that I've been listening to the most this year is actually a 2016 release but I picked it up this year and this is Sun Ra uh, the space age is here to stay um, I have a, a penchant for space theme covers so kind of a, a sub part of my collection so if it has a good space cover uh, I usually pick it up, but <laughs> this is a wonderful compilation. And Sun Ra, he, he's hard to say he's this type of jazz or this type of jazz because he was diverse throughout his career. Uh, this is a nice compilation by Modern Harmonic, mastered by Kevin Gray. Unfortunately, I think it was pressed at United. It would, the pressing is not that great. Um, mine were a little off center, and you might see a little bit of an edge warp, uh, but the this is a vocal compilation throughout his entire career and I, I just found you know this this compilation just wonderfully put together and Modern Harmonic does a wonderful job with uh, liner notes and this is a 2 LP set and here's just a sampling of this one for you Got the heart to stand those memories when my heart is still with you and no midnight knows it too when some quarrel we listen what big brother got to say you're gonna have to do but if brother tells you to, you're 1984, 1984, 1984, 1984, knocking at your door. The next and last album that I want to talk about here is a uh, kind of an alt rock masterpiece, in my opinion. And this is Ray LaMontagne's latest album uh, produced by Jim James and uh, Jim James of My Morning Jacket he's sort of like in the vein of Dan Auerbach or Jack White in terms of producing other artists but when they produce um, their sonic signature is all over it so this is a different album from his previous one uh, it's folky at times it rocks at times um, wonderfully pressed at Palace uh, mastered by Chris Bellman. It doesn't get any better sonically. This is just a sonically well-produced record. Um, but here's a couple of tracks from this one. And this is probably my most played uh, alt-rock album for the year. So, here you go. And no pressure Shit. 
So there you have it, Diana. Congrats on your subs. Uh, I can definitely see you getting to 2,000 or more by this time next year. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.